Hello everybody, to Weird Dude here, and welcome back to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Uh, last time we left off, I left you, the viewers, with the decision, would we go to the Fiery Canyon, or would we go to Misty Island? Hurry up with those power cells! I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon, at the top of the cliff behind the farmer's house! Hey. Well, I guess every time you uh, load up the game, it kind of reminds you what to do. Because, uh, yes, I did load up the game. Of course, I left you guys with the question. I didn't just leave the game running this whole time. So, uh, I did decide, after a bit of deliberation, that we would go to Misty Island. We'll take care of what's going on down there. Then we'll come over to the Fiery Canyon and do all that stuff. So, yeah, like the fisherman said, his boat's available right now. So, let's hop on here. Circle to use. And off we go to Misty Island. Woo! It's a dangerous place. I was just turning the volume up there. If you're clicking, it's no problem. Anyway. Misty Island. Dun dun dun. Alright. Here we are. Misty Island. Where the very beginning of this game took place. All right, and so uh. This place gives me the creeps. And trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz. And when you're like two feet tall, maybe. But anyway, yeah, I believe you can just. Yeah, everything's still fine here. Okay, just doing a little quick check. You'll see why. But I remember Misty Island. I got, I got lost here with my brother before we. We couldn't figure out how to get back to the boat, and <laughs> so we were we were like stuck on the island for a long time, and it's kind of terrifying. But whatever. Uh, here's a catapult, giant rock on it. Hmm. Can you guess what we need to do? Well, yeah. Uh, apply force. And then, yeah, it's like a little catapult. I just need to not jump and duh. Oh, it's neat. Um, I don't remember how many of those there are, but it, it's there. It's cool that way. Oh. Uh. Yeah, those are like the lurkers in the skeleton armor or whatever. They take two hits. And what is that shiny golden thing over there, you may ask? Let us find out. I thought he said something from up there. Yeah, let's go. Hey, I see the sculptor's news. Yep, that is the Sculptor's Muse. I mean, honestly, if you had some kind of golden glowing ferret thing going on there, then, uh, yeah, that would be quite the muse, wouldn't it? Anyway, uh, yeah, it takes quite a long path around. Just gotta smack this down. Alright. Whoa. Oh, dear. It's fine. Um, yeah, we were just right here. Okay. Uh, and I should probably collect some of these on the way. Wait, where were we? I think we jumped that gap. No, no. Oh, okay, we're back up here. Uh, yeah, confusing place. Anyway, the muse will actually take a jerk. The muse will take a circular path, and so uh, you can just kind of take your time, collect everything as you chase it. But uh, yeah, it's not like can miss it or anything, so it's okay. Mud. That's great. Uh, there's another catapult. Let's just go this way first. Oh. Orbs. Always elusive orbs. Here. Oh, it's just kind of leading us to all the goodies. And so if you check down here, yeah. You could theoretically just take this catapult and go up here. Not a catapult. Uh, teeter totter. Oh, there's got to be a term for it. Lever? Giant lever? Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. Come back down here. And we've made a full circle. Alright, so yeah, this is the little path it takes. I need to catch it now. If this takes me a long time, I will fast forward for you guys, but hopefully it won't take very long. Uh, I guess post-editing you'll see if it does or not. Oh, I guess I might as well point this. Wow, point this guy out. He's yeah, you can kill him if you're quick, but he'll dive down into the mud and you can't get him. 
And now I'm kind of in dire situation. I'm on low health. Ah. The chase continues. Do you have for him to give me a better call? Okay. Um, okay. Got it? No? Oh, dang it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> well. So there you go. We caught the muse. Now it's uh in our little backpack there. Totally. It, it's totally in there. You know, with, with all of our orbs and uh, all of our power cells. Yeah. Yeah, that's all in our little bag. No problem. No problem. Anyway, let's continue going deeper into Misty Island. Is that a thing? That is not a thing. Anyway, uh, I'll go up here. Not fall into the mist below us, cause I don't think we'll make it back. Well, that is very scary and morbid of you. But uh, yeah, if you see down here, this water uh, is extremely misty. You know, Misty Island. So you might ask, what happens if you fall in the misty water? Will will lurker sharks get you? No, Scarn Flames. I know it's you who asked that. Check this out. Yeah, it acts as a bottomless pit. So, uh, no. <laughs> uh, it is impossible to find your way out of the mist, I guess. Kind of scary, but uh, yeah. Not as fun as sharks, I would say, but uh, pretty creepy for sure. And that is why I checked the water at the beginning of this episode too. Had to make sure that uh, ocean water and such was still fine. But yeah, just gotta be careful around here. You fall down here, you're dead. There's water down there, but you're still dead. Ah, anyway, that was an interesting turn of events. Look, it's fire! Ah, fire! No, it's not fire. Uh, let's touch it and see if Dexter says stuff. Oh? Red Eco makes your attack stronger. Okay. So yeah, quick introduction to Red Eco. Uh, it makes you stronger. Let's see if I spin. Super special spinny kick. And then, uh, if I'm to punch, then uh, I'll die. So, you know, Red Eco not very good. Here. Speed up. And just gather up this blue eco. Oh man, I thought I died there for sure. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we're back to the red eco anyway. But as you saw, uh, punching does have more of an effect. It's all shiny and great. And so does the dive punch. Yeah, Red Eco is just your powerhouse attack, basically. Can you guess how we get to that power cell? It's a tough one. But I'm sure, maybe, just maybe you can figure it out. I put all my faith in you guys. If you can't figure it out, we're done for. We just, we can't. Just have to figure out a way to get over here. Nope, didn't work. Didn't work. Okay. Uh, back here at the beginning of this misty waters area. I'll just uh, pick up all the blue eco I can find. Oh, jeez. And rush my way over. And... Voila! Here we are. That's right. This is how you get the power cell. I hope you guessed it. Power cell! It actually took a little while to get our first power cell. Of this episode, that is. Uh, I guess you could say the muse counts as one, but uh... Not exactly. The muse is a means to an end, but is not a power cell in and of itself, so... Eh, but whatever, this doesn't matter. Let's go over this way, shall we? Oh yeah, see that? Those guys usually take two hits to kill. Uh, nah. Red Eco, you just... Ooh, just one hit, and you're good. Observe. Um. Okay, so I decided instead of going that way, I would actually go over to the left here. 
that way is just that's just no good I decided and we come to a decidedly different area or at least a, an outlook over this area or whatever outcropping overlook uh. we can't go down that way there's water not misty water lurker shark water so uh, we can't just hop down but we will be seeing this area later just thought I'd let you guys know so we'll just kind of keep going over this area here and oh gosh that was that was a close one I'm just dying quite a bit in this one alright scat fly and uh yeah I guess that's all that's up there you can't like break the stuff so you just kind of hop down over here and we're good okay yeah that's where I died and I was gonna crack that bone to make a bridge but whatever I mean let's go in here we were here. Oh. It's an ambush, Jack! It's an ambush! Ah, so yeah, a little combat arena here actually. Is an ambush, but we have Eco on our side, so not a problem at all. Uh and yeah, there's people bombing us too. Like with the same sort of thing that was in uh Sentinel Beach. Ow, oh, crap. This guy's in the armor. Okay. But uh, yeah, this this thing that's closed up, this is actually the Dark Eco from the very beginning of the game. Big Dark Eco pool. Jeez. I guess they decided to close it up after we left. So now everyone's safe and happy. Okay, that was a close fight. We, we actually almost died. And there's still bombs going on, so uh, don't count dying out. Or wait, maybe it wasn't... Uh, yeah, maybe it actually wasn't that. Maybe it was this up here. Let's keep you out of the ooze, okay? Yeah, this may have been where it happened. Honestly, can't really remember. I'm pretty sure there's Dark Eco in there. Oh well, doesn't matter. For returning to the scene of disaster, we get this! Woo! Do your little flexings in celebration of your new body. Yeah, 925 power cells. Wait, let me just check something. Re no, no. Return to the dark eco pool. Yeah, see, I think this may have been the one, because it's got a power cell that says return. Hmm. So yeah, that's where it happened. Anyway, uh, there are some... Ooh, they already broke one open. There are more of these metal boxes that you can open with the uh, cannon or, you know, leering people to shoot you. Or maybe not. Whatever. We'll do it manually. It'll be great. Still haven't shown that off at Sentinel Beach, but I will, in time. I might die. I died. I'm like, uh, Stretcher? Yuck. Revenant? Oh, Dexter. Actually, we're just right here, so that's fine. That was an interesting little scene. Kind of, uh... <laughs> glitched through the step a little bit, it looked like. The camera was. But whatever's. Uh, pretty sure I've sent it off once before. But yeah, if you die, like, in a standard way, as in you weren't, like, eaten by a lurker shark or something, you didn't fall to your death, then, uh, yeah, you'll get Daxter saying something like that to you. Which is neat. Uh, bam. Let's just go up here. At the pots. Okay. I'm up here. And here's another little. Oh, wow, I'm losing health like crazy. Anyway, here's another little uh, outcrop. Another little look at that. All right. Pull that down a little bit. Hopefully, we'll find some health somewhere. Cause this episode, Misty Island, I'm dying a lot. Uh, <laughs> I got a pretty bad camera glitch there. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, Misty Island is living up to its dark and evil reputation, I must say. I do not. Okay. Yeah, those guys, like, swinging their bone hammer or whatever. And that will kill you. Like, you can't just punch through it or anything, so. It's kind of daunting trying to punch them. Like, these guys, you know, whatever. You punch them, you're good. They can't, like, counter you or anything like that. Hold on. 
Um, nah. That blue eco vent thing there. Is it really? Okay, okay, I'm gonna experiment a bit. I'll speed this up if it doesn't work. Or even if it does work, maybe I will. Ah, uh, barely. Okay. That one's a tougher one. But alright. All is well. No problem. So, here we are to the wooden structure area. Let's walk on out to this ship. Yeah. Don't know what they're doing here. Sort of a base of operations, I guess. Uh, oh, I made it. I made it. Piece of heart. Heart piece for Link. Yeah. That's nice. Let's, uh, let's make some more. Then let's keep exploring the ship. There's a dark eco there. Be careful. Right. And there's a power cell. Just for getting to the top of the ship or something, yeah. Woo! Okay. But, uh, yes. Daunting. Daunting little barrel puzzle thing here. Uh, having played Trash Bandicoot, specifically the first game I'd say, yeah. Uh, these kind of terrify me. <laughs> Trash Bandicoot had like a similar barrel platforming thing, which was just really scary and hard for me as a kid. So these bouncing barrels and regular rolling ones, they're actually kind of nightmare fuel for me. Believe it or not. Oh, no! See? The horrors! But it's okay. I... I'll survive. I'll live another day. I'm not that scared of barrels. That's another guy. That's another guy's job. Anyway. Ah, oh, jeez. I am doing kind of poorly. I feel like... The double jump there kind of fails me sometimes. I can't quite say it though, but I think both. Hey! You take those guys out, you get a power cell. So, uh, I feel like the double jump kind of fails me sometimes. The two times I got hit by the barrel, I tried double jumping over. I have to admit, I'm impressed. You two didn't screw up. Now that the lurkers can't open that silo, they can't flood the world with Dark Eco and cause untold destruction. Wipe that ridiculous grin off your face, Tasta. The two of you have plenty to do. Get on with it. Okay, so yeah, with this cannon, which we are now using, they were hoping to uh, open that Dark Eco silo. See, I told you there's Dark Eco in there. And flood the world. So I guess we'll just take over for them, flood the world. <laughs> but no, uh, this this is how like you open those metal crates uh, after the lurkers are gone or whatever. You take control yourself. Have at it. Now let's examine, examine this mysterious blue glowy light. Are they not going to explain to us? I'll go a little more. Well, I could have sworn they explained this a little bit, but this is the A-Grav Zoomer. Uh, this is Kira's invention. This is actually what we're going to be crossing the Fiery Canyon with, but uh, it can't withstand the heat of Fiery Canyon. That's why we, could, we got those power cells. So yeah, we do get to ride it outside Fiery Canyon, just right here because it can float over water. No fear of being eaten by lurker sharks. Unless they can swallow this whole thing down, which, judging by that bite in the fisherman's ship, could actually be possible. I wouldn't rest easy yet, Jack. Anyway. Yeah, so this should be the last area of Misty Island. Unless I am forgetting something. But yeah, we gotta run these guys down, because, uh, kicks. 
You know, just just like the seagulls, we just, we just do it for fun, right? And of course there will be a reward, but shh, we don't know that. We're just doing these things for fun, okay? And there's these tricky ramps. Uh, where you have to collect all the precursor orbs on them. Uh, that one was fair enough. Was there one down there? Okay, I'll have to pick that up. Uh, yeah, these are okay enough. Oh! <laughs> Last scout fly. That's what that was. Nice. Okay. Huh? Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more speed for that one. And there is a hop button, so I will utilize that too. Uh, I don't do it anymore. Anyway. Let's try that again. There's a little path down there. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, one more, one more. Speed up, boots. Oh, wait, I'll grab these, actually. Okay, maybe I'll get this guy, too. Don't hit the mine. Ah, uh, got him. Okay. Boopy doo boo. Whoop. Oh, there's the last one. Or there's another one. Okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's another one. But let's get this guy while we're at it. The van. Alright. One more path. And we should be good on, like, freakers or orbs and stuff. There we go. Ah, power cell. Wahoo! Yeah! Okay. And, uh, what about the precursor orbs? Are we not good? No. We're missing three. Oh, here. I'm afraid that. Uh, find them. People find them. But I'll take care. Like, yes. I'm not. 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 i am not i am Yay! Woo! Good! You stopped all the mine jumping lurkers! They've been threatening the waters around our village for weeks. Bring your zoomer back to the chance pad and I'll teleport it back. Okay. See. Easy enough. Nice. Now I need to find the orbs. Cause uh yeah, otherwise I'm good. <laughs> uh I'll be right back once I find those orbs. Ah, okay, okay. So, yeah, it looks like we found them. Uh, just like that. Wow, tricky orbs. Huh. Okay, but that's, uh, that's just like Geyser Rock. Uh, the orbs are just kind of like off on the side. And it's like, why would I have even gone down there? And now you know. Check everywhere. Okay, problem solved. So, we're done with Misty Island. Let's get out of here real quick. I'll probably fast forward for you, because I have to do a lot of cutting here. Alright, so like I told you guys how uh, getting off this island was confusing. Uh, yeah, it's basically for the same reason as those uh, three precursor orbs. It's just kind of off on the side and you have to kind of fall. That's pretty dang confusing. But here we are, and you can see Sandover Village just right there. So let's head back. Now Misty Island's all good and done, we can stay away from that source of evil, evilness. Let's see how long this episode is, because I've been, my audio's been recording for about 31 minutes now. But I take a, bit of, a good chunk of time beforehand, and then all these cuts I'm going to be doing, so we'll see about that. Alright. And we actually have a bit of trading to do if we want. We'll, we'll get the muse back to the sculptor. We'll do that for sure. Sculptor! Hello. Oh, the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. Yeah! So now he's happily chipping away as the muse 
gazes into his soul, takes his mind over, and forces him to do weird sculptures of doom. Yay! Anyway, let's finish up just really quick. Sentinel Beach. That was just the last thing I want to take care of now that the cap is open. Huh. Okay, yeah, it looks like here on the beach, all these metal casings were actually blown open. I tried to save some, but I guess I showed it off plenty on Misty Island. So I guess there's no problem with all these being open. But that doesn't mean we're done yet. Alright, so yeah, over here, you can see the cap is undone, vent is open, and we have power jumps here. These random, uh, pillars of rock and grass? I don't know. You want to land on that, that was a metal crate there. If you don't land on it, it won't break open. Just have to do a mega jump. There's another one we'll land on. Bam. Okay. It's not all the orbs yet. Here we go. Wow. Beat these guys up. Yes. Yeah. There's a power cell for doing it. Ah! Alright, let's grab it. Yay. Okay. How many? How many orbs do we have? There's ten more here. Ten more here! And so begins the orb hunting part of the LP. Oh, bad jump. Okay, I landed a bit further away from the beach than I would have liked. <laughs> okay, we're fine. <laughs> Lower Cure Shark. I like it, but I'm also kind of scared. Oh, yeah, just about midway through that uh, fast forward, I realized my mistake, so I wasn't searching for long. Thank goodness. Anyway, yeah, now this powered up blue eco, we've got plenty to use. And I forgot about this here. So let's grab all these. And we're happy! Yeah! Okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm running pretty tight on time by now. Uh, so. Uh, this has been To Weird Dude. Thank you for watching this episode of the Jack and Dexter LP. I hope it wasn't terribly long. But, uh, next episode, I think we'll trade these off. Get the last two power cells from that precursor oracle, and we'll head on down to the fiery canyon or through it even too. All right, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Let me just stop it here. <laughs>